Good day guys, I'm Model Gaming and welcome back to Days Gone Survival Mode. You join me here in the middle of a blizzard. Yeah, it just started snowing within the last five minutes. There's a good start. Last time, uh, I, I can't remember what we did last time. I think we went out here to, uh, uh, Camp Rogue or whatever it's called and we helped O'Brien. So this part we're just going to keep continuing on with the main storyline because this chapter we're in is a big one. We've got two more chapters after this. So we have to go see uh, Iron Mike for uh, for something. I can't remember exactly what this is, though. Deke? I've been uh, thinking about what you were saying about doing something to make a difference around here, pay back the camp. I'm listening. Do you got a few minutes? I want to show you something. Yeah, guess I can spare you a minute or two. So where are we heading? You ever been out to the caves north of the lake? I know. Come on, see if you can keep up. Okay, let's go. I could outrun your ass if I wanted to, Iron Mike. The problem is the game won't let me. I got Marsh duty anyway this morning. Gotta see if any freaks are stuck in the muck out that way. When's the last time you went up there? Been a few years, I guess. When I was a boy, we used to live in that damn cave. My old man sort of fancied himself a geologist. That's that's a cool story. Oh look, freakers! Sounds like we got a couple. Freaks stuck in the mud, I mean. Well, sounds like. Here, let me take care of them. All right. Are you guys stuck in the mud, are ya? Well, here. Here you go. This is what happens to people who get stuck in the mud. Nice work. Hey, Schizo's just found a new man for the job. You know what Schizo can go do. Anyway, as I was saying, I spent hours talking about how all these caves were formed when lava flows would harden on the outside, but the molten cores would still flow like buried rivers. You got the big caves that drew in the tourists, like Metolius up there, and there's way more than that. Riddled all over these parts. Okay, okay, we're coming up on the highway, we gotta be quiet. That's a horde, isn't it? Jesus Christ! This is why you brought me out of here? I smell a bunch of goddamn freaks? Yeah. Okay, okay. Come on, follow him. Wait, wait, wait. Follow him? Where the hell are we going? You'll see. Come on. Now don't get too close. Stay down. Yeah, let's not antagonize this horde. I mean, I have a lovely new LMG. But uh, I feel like Iron Mikey here, he's not going to last too long. Doing, Deke? This doesn't seem all that smart, even for a goddamn drifter. Hold up, hold up. You remember telling me about how the tourists used to flood up from California in the summer, choke off Highway 97 and the I-5 freeway? Yeah, in July, folks smelled almost as bad as these here freaks. Well, you weren't wrong about one thing. These freaks, the big groups, the ones that some call hordes, I think they're the reason we can't get their numbers down. What do you mean? Think about it, man. I've been out here in the shit collecting bounties for more than a year. Who's or two? Ricky, Schizo, a few others. How many freaks you think I killed? A few. A few. Yeah, but their numbers never go down. That's very interesting. You got a point? It's these hordes. Every night, there's a steady stream of them up and down the Sandium Highway. Thousands of freaks pouring into the Lost Lake Valley, north of the Cascades. And you think they're coming up from California? Highway's closed off. No one's been south of the Sandium Pass in years. It's not closed off to the hordes. Freaks are the reason it's closed off. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that the hordes come in every night. Not a goddamn thing we can do to stop them. Your, your point being, Deacon, you haven't made your point yet. Well, you got that much right. Lost more than a few men trying to back in the day. Yeah, I know. I was there. 
and every horde that comes through leaves a few stragglers or gets busted up and scatters and, and just like that, freaks everywhere as far as the eye can see. And then that would explain why we have an endless supply of freakers. Okay, there's your point. You don't need to see them to know that they're around. We figure out a way to stop the hordes coming through. Maybe we can make some headway, reduce their numbers. Make it safer. Free up more farmland, irrigation. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do that? You know goddamn well you can't take on a, a, a whatever you call it, a, a horde? Dude, I've been taking these on for like most of the game. This is how. I'll be goddamn. Yeah. They stay in there all day, hibernating or whatever the hell freaks do. So, what are you thinking that we. Yep. We blow it the hell up. Stick it down to my there. There and there, we'll bring down a mountain of rock. We seal this shit up. Yeah, so we trap a few hundred inside. What good is that gonna no, do? No, no, you don't get it. We seal this cave. Maybe they don't got no place to sleep. Or maybe this trail of piss and shit dries out, goes stale, and others stop coming. Yeah. All right. All right. You got my attention. Okay, come on. Let's head back. Yeah, let's get away from the stink that's up All there. Right. My knees are warmed up a bit. Let's see if you can keep up. Yeah, okay. Tell me, when does being out in the shit make you an expert on freaks? You spend your spare time just following them around, seeing what makes them tick? Not exactly. And how do you know about all this? About what a horde's gonna do, where they sleep? A few days ago, I was riding north of Belknap Crater when a chopper flew by. A chopper? What the hell? Just listen to me. It was a black chopper. One of those Nero choppers that used to fly all over the goddamn place when the shit was going down. And you saw one, still flying? I followed them. I stole one of their radios. I've been trying to track them down, see if they have a base around here. Supplies. Shit, I mean, see if the feds are still alive, you know what I'm saying? They're out here doing field work of some kind on the freaks. They're studying them. They got resources to do that while we're out here starving, fighting to stay alive. I followed them up to the grotto caves. You know the ones? Yeah. They had motion sensors set up, measuring how many freaks used the cave during the day. And, uh, Mike, it was thousands. That right. They said freaks all up and down the Cascade Range, south of Crater Lake and north up to Smith Rock, all use these lava tube caves to hibernate. So, we blow up those caves, maybe we have a few less to deal with. That sounds like a good plan, in theory. All we need to do is just get some dynamite, which, that's gonna be fun. Hey, this idea of yours, it's got some merit, but job like that it's gonna take a fair amount of TNT he said you wanted help making Lost Lake safer this is how we do it <sighs> all right all right look there's some things I got to do okay but you meet me at the bridge in a couple of minutes I know where we can find some Say, John. Oh, hang on a minute. I'm going for a loading screen. You were supposed to be up at the farm an hour ago. My guy said he's got a shovel waiting for you. Yeah, Schizo, about that, I'm busy. See, Iron Mike and I, we're just heading out on a run. You and Iron Mike? You'll get your ass up that way today. Or you and your gimp boyfriend are gonna find yourselves out in the shit. You hear me? Road. Without a goddamn it battle. will be the last time. Yeah, yeah, I'll get right on that. St. John out. Frickin' Schizo wants me to shovel shit all day. Well, he can go get in the mud and do it. I'm busy. So, uh, a couple months ago, we were up by... Ready? Where are we headed? This time you're gonna have to trust me. They're on me, Deke! Okay, where are we going? 
You know what they use to mine all around these parts? Yeah, uh, mercury or something. That's right, cinnabar. They extracted mercury from cinnabar. Folks back east think it was gold mines out here and silver. Not so. Back in the early 1900s, cinnabar was worth more than gold. To operate the mine, you need TNT for expansion, blowing out new tunnels, clearing cave-ins, that sort of shit. And to own TNT, you had to register with the county, keep copies of the keys to all your lockboxes with the commissioner. Wait, the county courthouse? Where the hell is that? Thought you knew. It's in the old federal building. The old federal building? The one in Sherman's camp? Jesus, Mike, what the hell? You told me... You, you told me that you were never setting foot in that place again. Did I? I don't recall. You were drunk right after Joe was killed. Did I tell you why? Here. No! Turn right, here! This is it. Mike, the place is gonna be crawling out of... I don't think this is a good idea. Uh... Weather holds will be safe enough. All right. That there? It's the old federal building. That's where we're headed. Let's not go looking for trouble. Stay out of the buildings. Yeah, I agree with that. Come on. I mean, I did way. blow up all these nests, so there should be where way less freakers here than normal. Follow me. Key will be on the commissioner. And, and you know where he is? <laughs> where his body is? Yeah, I think I do. I believe there is something you're not telling me I here. What happened here. Yeah, everybody got wiped out, man, woman, and child. Only a few got out, and and uh, you you were one of them, right? Only two got out, me and Nora. But it wasn't the freaks that took us out. What do you mean? Here. There is something that I am Mike is not telling me, and I have a feeling we're about to find out. in. The ammo was gone. Two sides called a truce. A meeting. Right here. Oh, we knew what was coming. We knew what was coming and we were prepared. Fight didn't last long. But it was bad. They had ammunition left after all, and... Well, they... Oh, yeah, you can see what they did. Like I said... Two people walked out of this town after all was said and done. Some days. I wish the hell one of them wasn't me. Commissioner's over there in the bean counter suit. Go get the key so we can get the hell out of here. Okay, this is rather dark. You didn't give a damn about sealing the caves. You brought me here be because you, you brought me here because you wanted me to see this. Not true. All right, you got the key. We're gonna go get the maps to those mines, just like I said, and we're gonna get more than enough TNT to seal every cave in the valley. Bullshit. You are right about one thing. I'm not sorry you've seen it. Not following you, Mike. I am talking about the war that's coming. With the Rippers, the one that Schizo so hot for. You think he cares how many die on either side? Never mind. Come on, let's get this done. Anything to get me out of this place so I never have to see it again, I am happy with. And like I said, I did blow up all the nests in here, so there's, like, so many less freakers than what we would be dealing with right now. 
Let's just hope that horde doesn't turn Here's up. The door. Place is locked up tight. Come on. Gotta find a way upstairs. Smells like something died in here. Nudes. Yeah, I smell them. Bad business. Never much like kids. They always tended to get on my nerves. It was always the sore spot between me and my Elizabeth. God rest her soul. <laughs> you didn't like kids. Wow, well, here I thought you liked everyone. Almost no one, point of fact. But I tolerate most. Even smart-ass drifters. Come on. Okay. All right, this is it. Now we got maps to every mine in the county showing where they stored their dynamite. Okay, come on. You hear that? Yeah. Were you expecting anyone? Nope. Do you have my back here? Hey, I don't like starting trouble, but... I'll finish it if I have to. Stay behind me. Hey, I can take care of myself. I'm not saying you can't, but remember the last time that we were out in the shit. Yeah, like I said, I'm staying behind you. All right, let's just let, let's just get rid of you, little shitheads. You're not rippers, but you're That's just as bad. Let's go. Right behind you. Let me loot all of these bloody bodies. Give me all the loot, everything else. Even a couple of pipe bombs would be nice, people. Seriously. I'm not even going to bother using this. I'll use this. Stay down. I got you. Oh, they're versing freakers. It's fine. Freaks. They're bringing the whole goddamn town down on us. Oh, hell. No, you you guys can, yeah. You, you guys handle yes. this. You wanted to bring them here. Now you deal with them. Well, shit, they did deal with them. It's over. Okay. It's awesome. My turn. Ah! Hit. Hit. Stay down. I got freaks. This. Freaks. Yeah, freaks. freaks! You attracted them, you stupid douchebags. Now you can deal with them. You know what? In times like this, I feel like it's time to go in. Come here, you little shitheads. Yeah, that's right. You don't like being hit with a saw blade axe, do you? Huh? Do you? You stupid marauders. Keep it up, old man. Oh yeah, I'm right behind you. You better bloody be. Oh, that's a sniper. Okay, let's not go that way. Iron Mike, please don't go that way. That's where a sniper is, douchebag. Yeah, turned around. I'm coming. There's the bikes. Come on. And let's get rid of you. Excuse me. Excuse me. I think not, Fort. Jesus, what a mess. Now you know why no one goes into Sherman's camp. Eddie finds out you're out here risking your ass like this. She's going to be pissed. Now, how would she find out about something like that not from me okay let's just get on let's go seriously Mike let's go let's go those idiots can deal with the mess in there They're on me, Deke. no one's on you Iron Mike you're being delusional again so about the rippers why you wanted me to see that shit no, Deke. I always saw a bit of myself in you. Back in the day. How's that? You don't give a shit. Oh, you care about your friend. Don't want to see him die, but me? Any other goddamn person on the planet? I don't think so. Caring will just get you killed. Yeah, that's right. Thing is, not caring will get you killed just as easy. Good folks of Sherman Camp did will stop caring about anyone but themselves and their own. Easy to kill a man when he's just some piece of meat standing between you and what you need. 
Schizo wants to kill Rippers, because he don't think they're human anymore. They don't count. They're standing in the way of what he wants. Well, I don't buy into that shit. I won't have it. You know, Schizo, he, uh, he wonders why I'm a pacifist. That's, you know, that's what he likes to call me. He, uh, he thinks I'm gonna get everybody killed. Well, are you, Mike? Are you gonna get everyone killed? Freaks aren't gonna be around forever. Now, when they're gone, we're gonna need some folks around here to help pick up the pieces. Hey, look, hey, hey. I don't like Carlos and his rippers any more than I like Tucker or, or Copeland and his, his, his goddamn truthers. All right, but here, look. Here's the thing, Deke. I'm not going out of my way to kill any of them. I've had my share of killing. Even if Carlos comes for you? My truce will hold. You can bet on that. He's always looking at that goddamn truce. That truce is gonna get him killed. It will. <gasps> Attractors. Oh, hell freaking yes. That is what I wanted out of life. Oh, I need a car alarm. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, so where the... Where, wait, where the hell are we going? Oh, look, I need to go track down another Nero team. Because that's just what I want to do with my life. I was in my classroom. Well, Mike, I ain't gonna bet on that. The truth ain't gonna hold. Yeah, for once I agree with Schizo. The Rippers, they ain't human. Not anymore. Okay, okay, okay. We have a skill point. So I am instantly putting that into... God, all three of these are really, really good. Reduces loading, reloading times for ranged weapons. That one I need. But no, no, I need the accuracy more than anything. Before I do anything, I need to get this one. The bullet projectile and like all three of these I need to get. So I will need to focus on my ranged skills for a while. I have a feeling melee is just going to get sacri sacrificed at this point because there is just no way I am putting points in the melee. It's just not going to happen. I wonder how Boozer's holding that. I guess I should uh, go check on him. Hope he's awake. You, you're kidding me, right? Okay, that can bloody wait then. I am not going back into camp because Deacon forgot to do something. I uh, also noticed too, I'm not going to pull up the map or anything, but uh, I do have a job I need to do at Tucker. And also, apparently, Rockwife wants to see me again. Because she's done giving me the silent treatment, you know, because she's a rock. So at some point, I'll have to head up Tucker's way. So if I don't do it this part, most likely I'm just going to uh, drive up there in between, like, this part and next part, and then start it all next part. But we'll have to see for now. It just depends on what I have to do for the storyline. Will depend on when I go back up there next. Because now that I've got that LMG, I might be able to go after a few hordes up there. If I can just get level 3 at Tucker's place, I've got my own LMG. And it would be so nice. But for now, let's just focus on what we have to do. And what we have to do is go track down another Nero team. Because that's just what we need to do with our lives. Brian, I'm at one of your beacons, the one outside of Rogue Camp. Drifter, uh, uh, St. John, I mean, uh, copy that. Why am I here? I show, uh, Hilo incoming to that location now. Be ready. O'Brien out. Uh, psh, that's why I'm here. St. John, they should have arrived at your location. Do you see them? 
Yeah, yeah, kind of hard to miss. What do you need me to do? Get close to the researcher. Remember, you have to stay in their proximity or I can't intercept their data. I okay, need the area yeah, secured I get it. now. Okay, this time, I need you to plant one of those trackers on their helo. Their chopper. Okay, so I gotta place a tracker on that chopper. All good. Oh, guys, just gotta clean around. How's the site look? We clear? Can't let them see me. All set. So what the hell are you boys doing here, huh? Figured you'd stop and fill up at the old Peltro gas station. Shit. In case you didn't see, the sign says gas low. But no, nah, I'm guessing you guys don't got that problem. Got it. Ryan, the tracker's like set. You right should be getting here. telemetry. Copy. Here he is. No, 2060. We have now completed the survey of 24 nesting sites, including those at Marion Forks, the Pioneer Cemetery, the Cascade Highway Lumber Site, the truck stop on the old Belknap Road. What, what was that called again? Ah, oh, Crazy Willies. Yes, very rustic and touristy. Some things about the old world I don't miss. A crazy Willies, south of the Belknap Crater. I got a question, Doc. Sure, it's not like I'm busy or anything. The nests. Why do they build them? We don't know. Why do they only build them in, you know, buildings, structures, cabins, things like that? We have a theory that... I mean, we never see them where wild animals will build them. In trees or out in the wilderness, only houses. Finished? Sorry. The guys back at the lab have a theory. I'm sure when they're ready to talk about it, they'll come rushing down to the barracks to let you know. Jesus. Just asking. I see things too, you know. It wasn't always a grunt, you know. Can I continue? Sure. South of Belknap Crater. Some areas of the Belknap Wilderness were not surveyed due to the proximity of nesting sites to human encampments. In particular, a large camp at... Salome Hot Springs. Oh, uh, yes. Salome. On Herod's birthday, she danced before them, whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. She said, give me the head of John the Baptist, and the king was struck sad. Quite the name for a resort. Oh, shit. Again, some things about the old world I don't miss. Upload complete. Yeah. The Bible? Now they're reciting Bible verses. That must be nice. Flying God damn it, something's out there! Gone and finding time to read. Jesus, O'Brien. Done. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here before one of them spots me. That's a good point, Deacon. Yes. Please, let me get out of here. I literally had to hide in a dumpster this time. This, this is not fun. How much longer? Alright, let's just run, like, all the way out of their cone of vision. And run all the way around. Can't believe they just stopped at a gas station, but stuff it. Wherever O'Brien wants me, I guess. And there we go, another quick one done. And now I need to head back to camp. Okay, boozer. When, when you need to talk to me, bud, you you really should do it while I'm in O'Brien. O'Brien, are you there? I can't talk right now. I'll be on this channel later. Out. Okay, that that's a horde. O'Brien? Oh, god damn it. I'm getting tired of being your errand boy, O'Brien. Okay, that took out a good bunch of them. Uh, let's just throw another one of those Dick, in. Hurry. Ricky, what's going on? That guy we've been looking for, Eric Lynch, who, who murdered Camel and Reed at the farm. Lynch, man. Bitch. You know where he is? Yes, uh, yeah, he's on the north shore of the old boat bridge. Skizzle wanted to go after him, but Iron Mike said to get you. Okay, let me just take out this horde real fast. Because this is just... Oh god. This is just more freaky ears for me. These guys don't seem, you know, that tough. Uh, I say this. Alright, let's just... Let's just spin these guys out just a little bit more. We've already done some good jobs. They're very thin. 
There we go. See, having an LMG does do a load of good. Yes! That was a horde. Hell flippin' yes. That's right, you stupid ass horde. I took you guys out. Okay, that was interesting. I don't even remember ev that ever popping up. Maybe that's new. So I've at least taken out it. Hey, uh, Deacon, can you stop by? Oh, uh, let me guess. You got a job for me. Yeah. Okay. Saint John out. Why does everyone want me all of a bloody sudden? What the hell? What? What? What is this? So we've got a bounty hunter, we've got to check on Boozer, and we've got a job. Everyone just wants me for, for some damn reason. Well, fine. Let's go deal with this bounty target real fast, see if we can actually capture this guy this time rather than kill. Uh, we'll go get Deke, this is Cope. You out there? Cope, yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm uh, guessing you uh, got another job for me. Okay, I'll swing by, Deacon up. Why does everyone want me all of a bloody sudden? What the hell is this? Every single job has just opened up. Well, I guess that settles it. We are definitely heading back up north next part. Because I've got so much stuff to do now, it's not even funny. Like that. But first things first, let's deal with some stuff down, down south first. Deke, we need him alive. Oh, <laughs> No, why? Before he ran, he stole two bags of seed. Deke, we need those seeds. Ah, shit. We need to know where he sold them or stashed them. You're making my day a lot more complicated, but f okay, fine. I'll chase him down, Deacon out. Uh, of course you want him alive, don't you? Now, do I have enough fuel to do this? No, I don't have enough fuel to do this. Fine. Seriously, bike needs scrap. Game, you need to stop. Seriously, you need to stop. I can do. Let's go. Is this good enough? Huh? There was a can. That better not be a bloody can of fuel there, I swear. Which way? Back on track. Oh shit, there he is. Oh, it's time to knock some dude off his bike again. Yay! I love doing these. I'm not coming back. We go to hell. Come on. Ah. No, you're not gonna get away. Get back here, Lynch man. Your day has come. Hell with you. You can run all you like. I've got nos this time, buddy. I'm ramming your ass off the road. You ain't going to escape from me, boy. Come back here, boy. I'm gonna get you, boy. I'm gonna get you. It's only a matter of time. Oi, rack off. No one asked for your assistance. Lynch man, get back here. I will sh- I'm also out. Like his face. Woo, how's it going, Lynch man? What, is the camp not feeding you well enough? Fuck you. Thought you just killed a couple guys right off with our shit? Don't matter if a bunch of folks here die of starvation because you got what you need, right? <laughs> Get off of me, you son of a bitch! Hey, 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 listen to me. Rick is gonna send some men for you. You tell them where you stash the seeds, maybe they'll just shoot you, you know, instead of hanging you slow. What do you think about that? I don't know what the hell you're talking about! Okay, man, suit yourself. Yep, suit himself. If he doesn't want to say anything, well, I I, I guess he's getting Rick, hung. I got him, and I'll uh, send you his position. Send someone out here to pick him up. 
Does he have the seeds on his bike? No, no, I didn't see him. All right. We'll bring him in. Lost Lake out. And even... See you, Lynch man. And even better and better, he was right near camp where he fell off his bike. Life is freaking good. All right, Ricky, what do you want from me? Deke, a group of men rode in, shot up the gate, and when we wouldn't let them in, they rode off. Ah, shit. Which direction? Uh, they headed west, but they didn't go far. They set up camp just north of Eden Hill. I think they might be planning another attack, so I need you to take a look. <sighs> okay, right. Yeah, I'll handle it. Thanks, Deke. Eden Hill, you say? Oh, that, God damn it! that's right out where I was before. Okay, you people seriously need to learn when to contact me and when not to contact me. Goodbye, Hope. Having a look. Is that okay? You damn Don't fussy ass today. people. All right. I just realized too, I'm like 4,500 off getting this place up to level 2. So, I'll hand in all these Howdy. bounties. How's life? Hmm, okay. There we go. Now I'll need to go get hey some freaking supplies there. as well. Uh, good choice. Because I did use a lot yeah, of ammo good. taking out that horde. Good one. There we go. Okay then. And now we see have to go around. see Boozer. Because the hand... Now that he's lost his arm too, you're going to start hearing all the hand loss puns in the world. So prepare yourself. How's it going, brother? No, oh, Deke. I don't know about you, but uh, I could use a hand. Uh, <laughs> you lay down. Yes, ma'am. He can't have visitors uh, just yet, but uh, I could really use a hand. Okay, I'll see you later. I'll be here. Hey, Doc, Doc, seriously, though. Um, will I be able to play piano after all this is over? Very funny. William, lay down. <laughs> okay. I could play chopsticks. No, seriously, I could. I'd be like... <laughs> As you can see, he's going to be just fine. His fever's completely gone. Good, that's good. All right, well, I got to go take care Deacon, of some shit. like I said before, William really does owe you his life. Boozer doesn't owe me shit. I owe him. Hey, I saved two more. Eddie and Mia would have died without those antibiotics. I just thought you should know. Boozer might have lost his arm, but his humor is still very, very shitty. Ooh, Boozer's shotgun. <sighs> Seems like he's uh, getting better. His humor is still shitty, though. You have to admit that. Uh, right north with Ricky. Oh, okay then. I have to write. Oh, maybe this. Uh, maybe I'm writing up to here. Okay, for now, I'll leave this mission till next part. I was going to head up north anyway, but by the sounds of it, we're heading up north anyway. So I'll leave that mission till next part. What I might actually do though is go get rid of this camp that Ricky has spotted for me, because any, any and all like trust for this place is just gonna keep pushing me upwards, and that is another skill point, which means I can get reload times. And that should also mean tier five's available. So now the juicy stuff comes into play. So I can have ammo capacity for all ranged weapons, which I would absolutely adore. I've got this beautiful thing and I've got this. So the next three skill points are going directly into all three of those. But I'll probably start with... Yeah, I'll probably start with ammo capacity, to be honest. Because the more ammo I can get... You need something? The more, like, hordes I can go after. So potentially if I can get another skill point before the end of this part... I point. may or may not be able to do a couple of hordes next time. We will have to see, but... If I can knock off a couple of hordes, that just gets me closer to getting that auto shotgun. And once I have that, well, there is no horde in the world that can stand up to the power of the auto shotgun. That thing is just completely OP. Unlike that freaker that I just ran over. Hey, look! It's another horde. Okay. 
Okay, I can get behind this. Another horde. I've got plenty of stuff to use. It looks like they're trapped. Oh, please tell me I can. Okay, if I can just get a little bit closer. There we go. They These guys look like they're trapped, so stuff it. Burn, Freaker, burn! Burn, you bunch of bastards! Uh, that didn't get ready, rid of as many as what I thought there would have been. So, let's toss in that. And now, let's begin. Freakers! How you doing? Oh, God. Okay, this is a, uh... This is a semi-larger horde than what I expected there to be. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh hell, this is a this is a much larger horde than what I was expecting. Look at all those bodies. No 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 no. Come on. Come on. Show me all that show me all those juicy freaker heads. Okay, okay. Shit, shit. Reload. So it's fine. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Okay, I'm almost out of stamina as well, so let's just... No, 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 no. Hell no. Let's do one of those. Uh, I need to probably heal as well. Right, no biggie. Bit of biggie. We've almost got them. Yeah, we have almost got them. There's not that many left. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Oh, Deacon, why? Why? Why do that, buddy? Why? 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 You were doing so well, and now you're doing so shit. That's right. Shoot another bunch of them. Wear them out. Get them down to a smallish margin. See, there you go. You're doing all good. Okay, I'm almost done. This this must be the last two. Yes! Oh, that was that bloody horde we saw up at the lava cave. Hell freaking yes. I'm up to 15%. I still need to do so many more to get that shotgun. I need another 10% and I will be able to get that beautiful shotgun. Alright. This is going so good. Look at all these dead freakers. I've taken out two hordes. Oh, that also means that they're, uh, they're getting a lot bigger. Let's just leave all these bodies here on the ground to, uh, just, you know, die, or decompose, or whatever the freak of bodies do. Okay, Ricky, I'm near Eden Hill. Yeah, Drifter's still here. Can you handle it? Uh... Well, I guess we'll know soon enough. Deacon out. Alright, I have a load of freakers that are chasing me, so for the pity's sake, let's just lure them into the camp and let these guys deal with them. And then I deal with them. You, dude. Have some respect for drifters. Oh, he gave me a pipe bomb, see? Okay, where is everybody else? Where was this person that was right here? There she is. Uh-oh. Alright, gentlemen, if I can just swap back. Okay. It, it looks like they, they saw the freakers, so uh, yeah, it's, it's gone loud. Time. It's just gone loud. Oh, come on, you could do better than that. That's right, you can do better than that. Who else wants to get tapped in the head, huh? Oh, you got left. You want to get tapped in the head? Everyone gets tapped in the head. Oh, I kind of feel sorry for that marauder right now. And she is dead. And so are you, you piece of crap. Okay, I think that's all. 
And there we go. We're all done. Another 700 trust. We're only uh, 2,000 away now. And now I've got a load of Freakers to deal with. All right. Thanks for that, you bunch of douchebags. You die and you leave me to deal with a bunch of Freakers. I see how it is. I see how this is. I'll rack off. Go eat some grass or some leaves or whatever it is that you people do. Alright then. Well, I reckon this is where okay. I can leave. Time to radio in and let Ricky know. Deacon? How'd it go? It's done. They won't be shooting up any more camps. Oof. Thank God. I'll let Iron Mike know. You know, keep this up and you and Mike are gonna be best friends before you know it. Bye, Deacon. Yeah, I seriously doubt that is going to happen. Okay? I, I just doubt it. Breaker. Breaker? Where? Where's the breaker? Deke, you tracked down those boys, shot up the gate, took off? Hey, Mike, yeah. Uh, I found them and they won't be coming back. Seems like it's getting worse. The amount of squatters and drifters we got coming through. No offense to present company. <sighs> I'm taken. Uh, and yeah, Mike, it's getting worse. I don't know. Mike, I think it's like you were saying about tours. Always coming up here from California. Well, I guess if I had the choice. Yeah, I'd rather be here than down there. Yeah, I guess so. See you, Deke. Learn my cow. Alrighty, Roo. I have a feeling this is where I can leave this video off for today as I head back to camp. So, next time we're going to do this mission, because that's going to send us up north. So, if that keeps us up north, what I'll try and do is go do Copeland, Tucker, and Rockwife. If it sends us back down south, I might just head up here anyway, because now that I've got, like, three different things to do, I feel like it's warranted to head back up north for a while. And we'll possibly take out another couple of hordes. Now that I've proved that I am fully capable of dealing with a full horde. I mean, we, we've got a camp left up here. We've got another horde up here. We've got another couple of hordes that I'm aware of. And we've also got another ambush camp over here. So potentially, like next part, I might just do a bunch of crap up here and just try and do a bunch of side stuff and get it all out of the way. But we'll have to see how we go. It just depends where the game wants to throw me. So drop a like, leave a comment, and I will see you all in the next video.